thank you all for being here today. Uh, this is really a wonderful, wonderful privilege, I think, for, for me, for the university, to host uh, Maria Elena Durazo uh, this afternoon for the first Academic Senate Distinguished Lecture on Engagement, Service, and the Public Good. So this is an inaugural lecture. It is a very, very important event for us and I think uh, helps us set a vision for the future. The theme for the week indeed is uh, the university's dedication to engagement, service, and the public good. I cannot think of a Los Angeles leader who more fully embodies that than Maria Elena Durazo. You know, engagement, service, and the public good also are the central mission of the Los Angeles labor movement. Uh, a movement that I, uh, I'm privileged to lead on behalf of breadwinners, working class men and women, and their sons and daughters who frequently have ended up on this campus. No one lives in a vacuum, and that is certainly true of this great and fine university. You are surrounded by communities where working men and women who are currently represented and those who aspired to be represented through a collective voice by a union where they live and they work hard. Some earn good middle class wages. Uh, teachers and faculty, um, firefighters, uh, law enforcement, some actors, not all, uh, longshore workers. Uh, but yet more often than not, many work for poverty wages as they struggle for a better future for their families. Uh, if those working parents struggle hard enough, and if their children are committed and lucky enough, some of them end up at Cal State LA. Many students on this campus are the first in their family to go to college. Many are first generation, the children of immigrants. Many students are immigrants themselves. Some are even dreamers. Sisters and brothers, this campus doesn't have walls around it. It isn't isolated from the communities that surround it. What motivates me and gets me out of bed every day is fighting for the parents and the grandparents of the many of the students that you teach in your classrooms. One of the great joys of my life has, seen, is seen, has been seeing humble men and women turn through self-organization into fearless champions for their families and into active participants in the civil and the political affairs of their community and our nation. If all of these low-wage workers in LA made $15 an hour, it would reshape our entire economy for the good of everyone. Workers earning a living wage would also be good for Cal State LA and for the working class parents who send and who aspire to send their sons and daughters to study here. It will begin to refuel a starved public education system. Students have been fighting to ensure an accessible and equitable education system. Faculty and support staff are fighting to bring more resources into the classroom and ensure that the profession is respected and dignified through the fair contracts. We need people that we trust, uh, that the community trusts. We need organizations that the community trusts. And uh, we, can, we can hook up in a number of different ways um, that I know within the labor movement, within anybody on this campus, we look forward to doing that, and uh, I think when we put our resources together, uh, our community will benefit. So we're for that. Um, any ideas that you have, we're very open to doing that.